Uh, awesome. Well, uh, yeah, I think I think let's get started. Um, I think we, um, as we all know, or if you don't know, uh, congratulations to everybody on the mainnet one B upgrade that uh, happened very recently. <laughs> so, round of applause all around. Ooh. And uh, as part of that, obviously the uh, Inner Protocol Vaults launch, application launch, which is awesome. Um, so I, I, I kind of want to hand it us off here to, to roll in. I think we'll cover some of that. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Santi. Um, so, and you know, we've been covering the mainnet one B and and Vaults launch uh, for a while on these community calls. Here, it was a huge effort for for Agoric Opco, not only you know writing writing the, the Vaults contracts, um, making sure that the community agreed with the implementations of them, getting them getting them out the door uh, and 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 implemented by by the validators, but also the platform upgrade, which really supported that more complex use case. Right, so. What was running on the Agoric chain prior to this upgrade was um, the PSM contract, which really was a very straightforward contract from from the standpoint of the actual contract code. Um, and and now what we have running is a really full fledged complex DeFi application with an Oracle network processing updates uh, every one percent deviation or or within ten minutes. Um, we have a liquidation auction that's running. We can accept liquidation bids. Uh, the we have vaults contracts, so you know the the chain is now supporting a much more robust use case uh, than it ever has before. And as it does that, it's doing that without without performance challenges that we were seeing occasionally. So I, I think there's probably a few validators here on this call or listening later. Um, you know, a, a big part of the of the um, main upgrade was really getting chain performance to a better spot, uh, making sure that we're, we're keeping memory usage flat, that sort of thing. Um, there's obviously more work to do there, a lot a lot more low-hanging fruit, and we'll, we'll continue pushing on that end. But um, really, this this upgrade has, has brought the chain operations to a much better spot than they were at before, and we're, we're really excited about that. Um, so uh, that sort of then begs the question of what now? And, and really from... From the Agoric Opco product and engineering standpoint, we are making uh, what I consider to be a hard pivot towards platform focus. Uh, I, I've talked a lot in previous community calls around how the, the vaults applicate the vaults contracts and applications really drove um, platform upgrades drove performance, um, drove us sort of making choices about features in the platform, and that was really valuable. And now we can use those learnings to ensure that third-party contracts can launch. Um, and so that really is going to be the priority uh, for us over the next several months is really um, sort of continuing to improve performance, um, getting, to, getting the chain to be able to support prevention of runaway code, um, getting operational plans together and, and partnering with with third parties that are building on on Agoric to ensure that you know they they sort of understand different different aspects of how um, contracts can interact with the lower levels and making sure that we understand their needs uh, and getting new features into the platform to support them um, and in in certain cases pair programming with them if needed to to make sure that they're ready to go. Uh, and so that really will be our, our driving focus. You know, I, I think there will be upgrades to inter-protocol contracts. Um, uh, the community likely for inter will, will continue to demand um, new features and um, those, will, those will go out the door as well. But really, you know, Agoric is, is transitioning towards getting to become the platform that we need to be with uh, many, many third parties launched and running. Um, so, uh, that, that, that's, yeah, it's, it's been a long time coming and we're, we're really excited to be at this state. Um, so I guess I should, I should also mention sort of along those lines, you know, we still have two really important roles that we're hiring for. Um, one is for my team, a platform product manager. Um, this is somebody that has product experience, but an engineering background and really wants to drive uh, the SDK product itself. Um, work on things like the Zoe layer, APIs, uh, working with RPC providers, um, dealing with a lot of the really important uh, new new tech that is going to need to get built and, and evolved as we move forward. Um, and, and so th that will be a really critical role that we're really excited about. Um, so if that's you or you know somebody, please, please do refer them. Uh, and then on the engineering side, uh, we've got a chain engineer role, which is an SRE for you know, our distributed Cosmos blockchain. Um, and so 
uh, that really is going to be a, a critical role as well. So still hiring for those. And if you know anybody uh, and you'd love to join Agoric, which I would highly recommend, uh, please reach out. So I think I've taken up too much time and I will turn it back to Santi. I'll, I'll jump in here. This is Dean. Um, so I was in, in, in um, uh, Prague. Several of us were in Prague at, at the Gateway Conference where we talked about the Mainnet 1B uh, launch that then happened. But, you know, we've had a we, we had a, a community call, I think, since then about about Mainnet 1B. Um, uh, but uh, um, uh, that has, you know, that had all the, the, the platform things. I do want to um, uh, point out that 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 since then, the vaults actually went live. And one of the elements of it is a component that's sort of somewhere in between, which is like there's there's all the technology of having these long running JavaScript processes just continue to operate on and and restart and 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 continually run and be part of the checkpoint and be part of state sync and so forth. But one of our third parties, one of the third parties building produced the Oracle network. And so the Oracle network is a key part of, you know, vaults launched kind of painlessly um, uh, uh, a week or so ago. Um, but the Oracle network comes up and provides the, 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 the prices for driving liquidation and for, for um, uh, controlling what, um, uh, you know, what, what, what vaults can do. But it also is the first step of being a component that other um, smart contracts can use and rely on, and it was produced by by third parties. So that step into the world of general purpose platform, you know, that's that's one of those things where it's very specifically done that way to to again provide the learnings that contribute to the platform that that that, that people are starting to to build on. It will be releasing um, over the next few months, or that, that that third parties will be deploying on over the next few months, but also be a component that other people can start to use. So so that's pretty cool. The the the, the system that was done by them. So since Gateway, I've now stayed in uh, a European time zone um, because uh, uh, there's the the Paris events coming up. Specifically, I will be at OsmoCon and Nebular along with with other folks here. But I've been visiting, um, uh, you know, I went to, to Berlin and visited, uh, you know, and and. One of the cool things is how how dense some of the collections of people are um, across Europe. So in Berlin, I went to visit ICF, and it was easy to go visit um, Evmos, talk to Os Osmosis folks, um, and in the same building, there you know Celestia happened to be visiting, and and we, we and we met and talked about um, some of the potential future integration stuff. So. Um, so, so Berlin was great. Went to Lisbon, talked to Mechatech, talked to a variety of folks there. I look forward to visiting with um, BytePitch, who's who's uh, one of the our our mainnet two partners um, uh, next week. I am now in Amsterdam, and I'm in Amsterdam and met with um, Kraya, who who will be talking, um, who we've mentioned before, and they'll be talking at uh, um, uh, with folks at Nebular and releasing their stuff over the next few months. So we're very excited about the stuff that they're building. And uh, as I said, we're there to, to support them and as other um, uh, projects uh, come online and become more visible about what they're setting up to deploy on Agoric, we'll be, we'll be sharing details about them as well. Now, there was a fun thing here in Amsterdam when we were walking to dinner, I think it was, from Kraya, and I went by a, a, a office, a small office that had a sign, Metaverse Games. It's like, how can I not find out what these people are doing? So we all, because, you know, Cry is doing a bunch of this, um, NFT, you know, additional NFT infrastructure and dynamic NFTs on, on, on Agoric. So we went in and visited with them. And they were just finishing the launch of a game on iPhone. And they were doing, you know, final testing and, and uh, you know, on this launch of, of their, their crypto game. So that was a fun connection to make. And that's the kind of thing as we start to get in these ecosystems where, where you know, with interop with IBC with the ability to connect chain to chain, you know the ability to connect with these other projects is just getting is is getting to be very interesting and very exciting. So, so it's been fun to to um, see the kind of community that is you know already that, that is already in growing in place around Agoric out here in Europe, um, and um, and I look forward to meeting uh, even more folks at the at uh, Nebular and OsmoCon uh, conferences coming up in Paris. So that's what I've been up to. <laughs> we're, we're, Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, where in the world is, is Dean San Diego? That's exactly right, right. 
and I am and, and I am here uh, talking talking to all the fine people that that, that that Vanessa brings to the table. So I'll hand this off to Vanessa. <laughs> Thanks, Dee. Now, it's nice that you're getting some time with all the folks out there, especially now with the platform up and running and released, we can start seeing a lot of these main net partners who've committed to launch an Agoric launch in the next few months. So, you know, Roland, thanks so much for highlighting a bit of that earlier on on the call. Um, what, what I'm gearing up for is that I'm bringing a lot of my team to the OsmoCon and Nebular events, mainly because we're going to have a good opportunity to hang out with several Cosmo Zone folks, talk a bit about uh, use cases using Agoric smart contracts, um, how it could benefit some of the zones. We're hoping to have a nice uh, example set up for you all so we could share and talk about it a bit further. Um, and then historically, we've had this amazing bounty program at Agoric where it's a great way in which we got to know a lot of developers earlier on, and they then converted to become mainnet DAP partners, either their own interest or they had an idea that they were trying to implement in Web3, got to know the use of the Zoe smart contracts and realized that it would be easier, better, or much more safe to build here. They all had different reasons. Um, and so... We have a number of open source components that have been contributed to the Agora community, and we are getting a set of tutorials for these different open source components. So we could share them more broadly uh, in the coming weeks. So we'll have more of that to share um, when we see you all in Paris. Um, additionally, uh, we want to talk about with a lot of you folks at these conferences about other contributions or integrations that we could see with the Agoric platform. And so Roland will be with us as well. Typically, myself, Jeet, Hannah, Anjan will be around these conferences and we'll invite Roland to be our guest star. So you'll see us pairing up with him. And uh, I'm inviting all of you guys. <laughs> He's really good. I promise. <laughs> He's really, really good at helping out with all of this. Uh, so you guys can see how your DAP can or your use case could be realized in Agoric. Um, what else do I have left here? So you could find us at the events. Um, I'm sure you guys are getting to know all of us. I'm Vanessa. And uh, Hannah has been working with a number of zones on partnerships, as well as, as our DeFi expert on the partnership side. Um, Anjan, thankfully, uh, hasn't been as, thankfully has been super helpful with a lot of the partnerships on uh, the launch of the Oracle network that um, Roland mentioned earlier, which was led by Simply Staking. So shout out to them and thank you for all of the work they did there. Uh, and then Jeet, as many of you know, he, had, he did take the red suit to Europe, so you can spot him there. Um, and we'll be around to talk to you about different mainnet opportunities, partnerships, and other ways that we could collaborate across the interchain. And that's where I land there. Um, Mr. Nice. Dean or Mr. Diego, whoever's ah, up I next. I'm pull up Diego Or here. if you all have any questions. Yeah, the, yeah, the, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. And just for a quick I just wanted to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be really quick. Uh, I just wanted to mention that yesterday uh, we had a particularly interesting office hour session. So I wanted to invite everyone interested in, in digging deeper into the code and how Agoric works to join our office hours. So we have office hours every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time and noon Eastern. So I think that would be like minus five uh, GMT. And you can find more info at community.agoric.com or in the discussions uh, of the Agoric GitHub repository. And you can come and ask technical questions, ask for her help if you have any bugs in any DAP that you may be creating or just connect with other developers. And since I mentioned it, uh, yesterday we had uh, Dan, one of our engineers, showcasing his Interfund project that is pretty much a spreadsheet that demonstrates how to get data about the inner protocol from Agoric chain. So from time to time, like we give uh, well, the opportunity to any participant to showcase any projects that they may be working on or just to kind of like, hey, ask questions about like the code that we have there. And well, since I also mentioned it, the discussions in the Agora GitHub repository, that's also a place where you can like follow up like what, what other developers are doing. And that's also one of the places that we look into for, uh, well, to know what you guys are doing. So, yep, come uh, join the office hours, ask questions, and just connect with other developers. And that's it for me. 
Awesome, thank nice. you. Yes, I, I, I man, it, it worked out while I was here. I managed to join the, uh, the office hours with, uh, um, and you know, there was there was mainly two partners, but there were also other developers that 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 had questions and have been building on things. So, um, so uh, I had I had a question that in that I was you know something I was interested in that actually got followed up there and I got my answer. So, so thank you, Diego. Thank you, Dan, who 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 runs those. So. Should we chat uh, a little bit about the recent delegation program that we bring JD up? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and just a quick plus one to anybody interested, come join the uh, developer office hours. I tune in weekly as well, and, and there's always something interesting to learn in there. Um, and yeah, on to the delegation program. Um, so delegation program applications opened on June 1st, and they are now closed. Uh, thanks to everybody who applied. Uh, we received s several, and uh, so the next step, the team uh, will be reviewing all of the application forms, going through, uh, doing doing what we do to, you know, uh, go through all the contributions, check every, uh, ch check all the tools out that everybody's uh, provided us ac uh, information about, and. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll, that'll be taking place over the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned to community.agoric.com, the forum for updates on the uh, as as we wrap up the review process and move on to the next step, which will be uh, sending delegations out. Um, as part of the delegation program, a lot of the validators have started creating validator profiles, so you, which you can find in the forum as well, and. Uh, while this is part of the program helpful for us, it's also part of the intention for it was that it's helpful for delegators. So if anybody's curious, you if you have uh, if you have build and you're asking yourself who should I delegate to, uh, then the validator profile section in the forum is a very helpful area to explore, get to know the validators. They've provided things like their contact info. Uh, the list of their contributions and uh, brief bios about themselves. Uh, so I highly recommend if you're curious about uh, validators, just go take a browse. Uh, it's very insightful. Even I've been learning a lot about our validators in the time I, that uh, in my time browsing through that. And then uh, one more from the forum. Uh, there is a discussion about liquid staked Atom as collateral for vaults going on. Uh, it's not a formal proposal discussion as of yet. It's just a discussion about uh, how to approach it. Uh, and so for anybody interested in in this process, I encourage you to drop into the forum, check out the discussion. Uh, it's called Liquid Staking Token Vaults. And it's uh, just kind of assessing some of the things to consider, you know, risk frameworks, things like that. And a few of the community members have been very, uh, very engaged, sharing some uh, some insights. And even a member of the Stride team or a Stride contributor showed up and shared some information. So uh, just recommend checking it out. Uh, and if you have thoughts to share, please, uh, please by all means come join us in the forum for discussions. Awesome, thank you, JD. Yeah, I also I also just got word that. Um... For uh, on July twelfth, I IST is planning a bit of a bit of a bit of a little broadcast party situation, which I think they're going to be sharing more details soon. So definitely stick around for that next week if, uh, if you're so inclined. Um, is there anything else people wanted to talk about? Some of the other topics we we went or thoughts from the, the conversation we've had here. I just have to say I've been really enjoying <laughs> spending time meeting people <laughs> and digging into you know, getting people bringing people up on on you know some of the core technology that is that has been in this release. So I'm I'm looking forward to more of that starting to get out and get captured and get presented and get documented. I think people will 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 really be able to use it for a bunch of cool stuff. So yeah, absolutely. Would would you say a large majority of groups are based out of Europe? Your experience now. Say it again. Would you would you say, say a large a large percentage of groups are based out of or projects are based out of Europe? Um, 
No, no, I think they're, I mean, they're, they're broadly all over. We certainly, you know, have, 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 um, you know, uh, folks in Asia and folks in the U S as well building, but all the ones I'm talking to right now are since that's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll have another, uh, community call this in about, uh, about a month. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll set our reminders well ahead. Um, we're also taking feedback uh, from folks on how we can improve these calls. Um, we want to make sure our community is getting the information they want, um, that it's being helpful. Um, if we're missing anything, uh, you know, do let us know. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll be in, uh, sharing across all our channels and Twitter and uh, LinkedIn and otherwise um, uh, for the next community call. Uh, yeah, you know, stop by, let us know if you have any questions in the meantime. Um, and thanks, thanks all for speaking, Vanessa Rowland, JD, Dean, Diego. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you as always. And um, we hope the rest of your days are great. We'll uh, we'll see, catch everyone on the uh, the next community call.